Um, but you have a lot of fights going on. Uh, you also are going to be having Devin Alexander, Amir Khan. Anything finalized with that? Is that fight really taking place in Dubai? And what's your thoughts on going to another country? Well, um, actually, there's nothing finalized. The, the rumors are that, that the fight looks like it's going to happen sometime in December, but nothing's been finalized. Uh, far as Dubai is concerned, I mean, I have no problem with going to Dubai, but uh, I hear there's lots of money in Dubai, and that's what it's going to take to get us to go to Dubai, a whole lot of money, and I mean a whole lot. And as far as... Uh you know, Devin Alexander, how is his hand healing up? We know that he put on a stellar performance with uh, Purdy when he also at the press conference called out Mayweather. Um, but how is his hand healing up? Would he be on schedule for a December matchup? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's uh, wearing a, they put his hand in a brace. He's wearing that for six weeks. Uh, he's seen some of the best hand specialists in the country. So uh, I figured Devin will probably be back in the gym moving around late July. He'll start maybe hitting the bags in August. So December is plenty of time to be ready. And I can't let you go without asking your thoughts. Uh, clearly we were at the press conference and at the fight for Lamont Peterson, Lucas Matisse, and you were, your opinion was that Peterson would win. After watching the fashion in which he lost, has your opinion changed of Lucas Matisse? Well, actually, I, my opinion about Lucas Matisse, it wasn't negative, I just thought Lamont Peterson had more tools in the toolbox and he would win. So, I mean, I knew Matisse was who he is and he's what he is. So, uh, it just goes to show you, basically, show it tells you something about Devin Alexander. Devin Alexander fought Matisse at 70% of, of himself and uh, he outboxed him and got a decision. So, Lucas Matisse is tough and I think Lamont Peterson will bounce back. Staying on the same subject, Allegedly, there's a September 7th date for Danny Garcia versus Lucas Matisse to finally see who's the best at 140 pounds. What's your opinion as a trainer? Because both guys swing wild. Both guys are very wide. Both guys knocked out a couple of people with their left hooks. How do you pick a winner in this fight? Well, it's a great fight, and I love to see the fight. But I think... Uh you know, if, if that fight happens, I think Danny should, uh, you know, you know, definitely, you know, uh, work, work towards trying to, uh, you know, being the more skilled fighter in that fight as opposed to going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, mano a mano So it's a great matchup, and I love to see the fight. Now, you've been in the sport numerous years. Um, do you think that it, in your opinion, do you think that this fight happens? Two Al Heyman fighters, two big name fighters, two exciting fighters. Does he pit both of his fighters in together so soon in their career? I don't know. I don't know if the fight's going to happen, but I, like I said, I'd love to see the fight. All right. Well, what's your prediction for Sakio Bika this Saturday night? Well, I, I, I expect Sakio to win and win spectacularly and become the new WBC super middleweight champion of the world. Well, thank you again, Kevin Cunningham. Have a good night. Appreciate it.